Hello modelers, it's John back with the 16 by 8 um, I'm making a video to show you something I discovered today. I love grain elevators. I like industrial areas. And by the way, excuse me, I have to hold this thing to do this video. I can't put it on a tripod because I have to move around too much for this. So I'm going to try not to pan too fast. Anyways, um, I was at work today and I some of the guys in our uh, bindery department, I work in a graphic shop, they were uh, stuffing tubes full of some stuff we've uh, some posters and pictures we designed and I went back there and I never really seen what how they do this stuff I walked out there and I saw all these tubes white tubes standing up and they were the guy had them perfectly flawlessly arranged in a rectangle you know 10 deep by 20 the other way and it, the first thing I thought of I walked there when I was out there I thought God, I put some train track next to that it looked like silos so I grabbed a bunch of these, brought them home. I'm gonna, of course, I'll return them. Anyways, I um, arranged them in such a way where I thought these really look like uh, silos, and they're cheap. You know, you could, if you want to do a layout where you have a whole bunch of these in the background, these would be perfect for that. They've got a little bit of texture to them. You can kind of see um, they're made of paper, real heavy paper. They're sold by Uline, this particular kind. There's probably several companies that sell them. But I just envisioned painting these things gray or flat white and then dirtying them up, you know, to make them look weathered. Now, as far as the top, they come with a little cap on the bottom. And they come with an extra one for the top, but you wouldn't want to use them. But they, the, the bottoms are good to leave on there. Um because they glue nice and flat down to your base if you're going to do that. So what I would recommend is taking the top, put some paper on it. To flip, after you've glued a whole series of these, glue, glue them together with some hot glue in between or whatever glue you want to use. And then flip them over and just draw with a pen. You know, just draw around, you know, and then cut it out. And then just glue it on the top. I think they would look great. Um... You know, it, it, like I say, when I saw it, it just struck me. And it's instantly I thought this is what I thought of. And I thought, I got to show this to people. Maybe people have done it. I've done this myself using um, PVC. But to buy a chunk of PVC and do 30, 40, 50 of these things, if you want to do a big uh, set of silos, it would cost quite a bit of money, probably a couple hundred bucks. Well, you can buy a box of these for 45 bucks and get... Um, 50 of them which would do a ton now the size of these is a little tiny bit smaller than the um, the actual ones that Walters sells the silo kits and they're just a slightly bit taller but in my mind these would work great I don't think it matter the size um, you can you know look and see for yourself you know I think they look good compared to the trains I'm going to go back here you can kind of see my little fake little mock-up here Literally, it's everything just sitting here and taped down, so nothing will move. But if you look at it, I didn't have enough to do it double there. But, I mean, you can kind of see it. It's yeah, It looks pretty good. Um, like I say, they're a little skinnier, but I don't care. I, I'll put a, I'm going to put a couple pictures of the label uh, on, on the website showing these and how much they cost um, and the part number. You can get them in shorter sizes. Um, I've seen them in 6-inch for sure. And then you can get skinnier ones if you want to do like an end scale. Um, I don't know the... I didn't look real uh, extensively on that to see how deep they are. You know, um, I just know they were skinnier. But, it, they, you know, like I say, they I think they just look great. And you put a top on there and some details hanging off. Maybe even a, you know, a little ladder going up the side. I don't know if people actually crawl up these things. They might go up them spiraled. I don't know. But, um, and then sitting, sitting next to a grain tower, boy, I think they look great. I mean, you look, stand back and look at these things. I think they're, I think they're really sharp. So I just wanted to show you guys that. And I, I think it's uh, something that some people might want to use and save when they're on a budget. And I always look for th things and ways to save money, you know, on different products. 
Oh, there's a little close up. You can kind of see, almost looks like cement. So that's why I think if you just paint them flat colored, they're gonna they're gonna look fine. So yeah, these are uh gosh, I can't remember how tall they were. I think they're about nine inches tall. The ones you buy from Walters are a little over eight, I believe. So on the width, these uh, inside is two. I think they're about uh, two and an eighth total with the thickness of the cardboard. So they're just a little tiny bit skinnier than the ones you get from Walters. So anyways, just thought I'd show this. Uh, it's nothing to do with my particular layout, but it's something that some of you might have interest in, you know, in, in, find it interesting, I should say, but some of you may not like it at all, and that's okay. It's just something I thought was kind of neat. So let me know what you think, if you like it, if you don't, or if you have any other suggestions of things to use that are reasonably cheap other than PVC, because I think most people know about that by now. So anyways, I just thought I'd show it, and thanks for watching.